Hey guys, and welcome to my new series, Physics of Glitches. And in this series, I'm going to be explaining how glitches are done, um, the physics behind them, like why uh, they work, why the lap counts, and yeah, so I hope you enjoy. So firstly, I'm going to be showing you guys both versions of the glitch. This one is the regular glitch, and you just hit off the left of the pipe, and then you have to go back to the critical checkpoint. And to make this lap count, you have to hit that critical checkpoint, which is right by that second pole. And <clears throat> voila! So this one is the pipe bounce, and this is much harder. Okay, see where my shadow is at this point in time? Uh, my back tire is going into the black area, but my front tire is staying up above the green area. And since I'm hitting off the edge, for some reason, it like thrusts me forward into the air. And that's how you get the high enough bounce, because you hop at the same time as you hit the pipe, and you can go up through the ground for the pipe bounce. Okay, so that was just a little explanation on how to do it. So same thing, you run back to the second post, and you hit off of it, and then you just finish the lap, and BAM! Lap count. <laughs> okay, so also for this glitch, you're gonna have to, uh, obviously you're gonna have to go and land on that bridge. Because if you don't land on the bridge and you land like right here, it won't lap count. Because I, I'm not exactly sure why it won't. I'm assuming it's just because you need to be a certain ways back or thinks you're like not actually completing the whole lap. There might be a checkpoint on that bridge. I'm not completely sure, but yeah. Okay, so this is the fun part, which is explaining how the glitch actually works. There's a checkpoint at the finish line on every course, and that checkpoint does not stretch out past the road. So therefore, when you hop and you jump out onto the road before hit, uh, going backwards across the finish line, the game thinks you're still in front of it. It doesn't realize that you're behind it. But if you go behind the finish line and then jump onto the pipe, it won't lap count, which I'm about to demonstrate right here in this video, because it thinks you're on lap zero is what I like to call it instead of lap one. Therefore, it won't count the lap, so just watch. Okay, so as you're about to see here, uh, the lap will not count, and reason being is obviously because I went behind it and I thought I was on lap zero, so it was just registering me to lap one there. That's why it didn't count. This is even more proof about the checkpoint not stretching out past the road, and I will have another clip after this showing the KMP, which obviously is like complete valid proof there. But this just shows you cannot fall off the side and finish the lap. On Koopa Cape and Ghost Valley you can, because the checkpoints stretch out past the road, but not on this track. And you're about to see that in just a second, so we're nearing the end. And here we go. So attempt number one, no lap count. I was kind of out to the right there. And then now attempt number two at getting a lap count. I was really close to the edge and still no lap count and this is attempt number three and that was extremely close to the edge and it still didn't lap count that is ridiculous and then you see if I just cross it normally BAM lap count now for the final part of this video I'm going to show you how to patch the glitch and it's one simple step on this course it's extremely easy and also I'm going to test it out on revolution to show that the patch actually works Oh, and also, if you want to test out the patch for yourself, I will put a download link in the description. Alright, so this is how you fix the glitch. The, um, as you can see in just a minute here, once I find the KMP, uh, okay, here we go. Um, where is it? Uh, no, 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 there we go, found it, okay. So as you can see, um, the thing, it's like, it's only on the track, it's, it doesn't stretch out in the black area at all, and we're going to fix this because we're going to stretch the checkpoint out to the black area, so uh, the glitch won't be able, you won't be able to do it because we're stretching out it so it notices that we're actually behind the finish line instead of how it thought we were still ahead of it like before. Okay guys, so I just loaded Revolution, and I now have the patch Warriors Goldmine file on it, and 
and we're going to check out if this works. Now, I'm about 80 to 90 percent sure that this prevents the glitch because um, since the checkpoint doesn't stretch out far enough, obviously I've said already, it recognizes you as still in front of the finish line because it never saw you go behind that checkpoint. But now, since we stretched it out, it's gonna, t it's gonna, the game is gonna know that we went behind that checkpoint, and so therefore, it's not gonna allow the glitch to happen because it'll be like, hey, he's backwards, he's going backwards. So uh, let's just check this out, and I'll verify that it doesn't work. So we're just gonna go here and do the glitch the normal way. Yeah. Pretty normal stuff. And now, if I'm correct, this won't lap count. Yeah, it won't lap count. And we're just gonna try it a couple more times just to verify that this won't lap count. And then that'll be it for the video. So attempt number two at getting a lap count. Let's go right off the left side of it. And I'm not gonna do that little bouncy thingy. I'm actually gonna go back and just do it regularly. Okay, and that doesn't lap count. And now this is attempt number three. There we go. There we go. That was kind of spazzy. And this time we're going to go all the way back. All the way back here. And there you go. It doesn't work. So that's it for the video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.